Bloody, ugh. I'm hopefully into my first fish. Or the first one on film, anyway. We got a new camera. We're trying to video just now. And unfortunately, we didn't get our eight pounder on the video. We've got a couple of photos though. I think I can feel something banging away on the end here, which would be really handy. Well, this is heavy. Can take a walk down to the water. Fishing the tide out on this flat sandy bay. Last time we came, we had a smooth out, and then we had issues with our camera. <laughs> We only got one fish on camera. The fish in this, it's a nice surf, three to four foot. And we find that on this flat sandy bay, we tend to get small eyed rays right in the surf. And they fight like really big bass, as you can imagine. An eight or nine pound ray in in the waves can prove to be quite an obstacle. I'm hoping this one, I'm getting tangled up with Neil's line here, look. I'm hoping this is a ray. We can get it on film for you. I think I'm gonna to have to jump over Bart's line there, look. Excuse the bad video in. These fish don't play nicely. This is a nice fish and it'll be cracking. It's fighting just as hard as what a nice smooth out does. It is right in the surf. <laughs> I can hardly move it. I can't even see me shot moving yet. Come on, fish. I think I can see something out there in the water. Got the squeaky reel on. There it is. It's on the surface there, whatever it is. I know what that is. It's going up the tide look. Tighten in. I reckon that's a nice ray. I'm a bit stuck on my old uh, shot leader there. It's not as big as we thought. It's not as big as the last one. Foul look, something by the looks of it. Ow. I've pumped you in as well, Neil. Where have I? Well, yeah. that's somebody else's line, isn't it? And me. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, just to show you. Look at that. That's a small one. But a beautiful fish all the same. Even that put up a nice fight. I think I've dragged in somebody else's lost line there. So what I do is I cut that off and we'll dispose of that back at the car. So I'll get this one back in the sea and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, it's Neil's turn now. Hopefully we have a rain. Hopefully. <laughs> Bit bigger than the last one. Bit bigger than the last one. That'd be nice. No nets this time. Oh, there's a nightmare of that. I don't know where that's come from. Shot I can hear you shot lead or not. There we are. What have we got? Him. What have we got? Got a little ray. Yep, another small ray from the surf. Oh, look at that one. Give you that one. Ah, oh, look at that. That's a cracking ray. Beautiful fish. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. That's Elvis said. <laughs> splash, splash. As soon as it goes into the sea, you can't see them anymore. Right, quick. Well, the rain starts coming down. Just a quick word about how we're catching these rays, okay? We use a pulley rig. 
lines you can see the pulley system all right that collects to the main line this is my spare rig on getting ready the whole rig itself from the weight to the pulley section is about a foot and a half and about the same for the trace line 30 pound trace line uh, amnesia I use because it's nice and it it keeps straight and a nice 3 0 hook on here this is a Sakuma and I'm going to show you what bait we're using I can dig him out the bag here we're using live sand eels which we've got down the shop they're very easy to keep alive all you do is you have a nice bag of damp let me try and grab one a damp newspaper if you keep it in the fridge so it stays cold they last for hours no aerators no nothing this one here they're about five inches long all right now this is how we hook them so I'll get Neil to zoom in so you can see this happening ready what you do is take the tail end okay because we're casting it it needs a really good way of staying on the hook don't need to tie it on, nothing like that. What you do is you look at the backbone and you go just underneath the backbone by the tail, like that. Oh, there he goes, look. And then come across above the backbone, put that through, slide him up a little bit, and then again below the backbone. Now, you don't want to go up so far that it goes into his organs because then he will stay alive out there quite happily. As you can see, there's no way that that's going to come off. It's just a fantastic way of hooking them. And then we'll clip him down and send him out to sea. And that's it. It's as easy as that. You want to keep fishing in the surf. Because everything's churning around, you want to keep it nice and simple. Can't say any better than that. We'll get him out to sea. You got fish on there, Bart? Yeah, I think I've got one. Fantastic. Swimming right down the beach. Hopefully, we can get it in. I'll stand behind you here so I'm not. Uh... Yeah, he was using 525. Trust the old. Hooked up to a Ron Thompson accelerator. What have we got? I think Neil's got some weed on his shop leader. What have we got here? Neil has got a ray. Look at that. It's coming up through the sir. There he is. Run in. What I'll do is I'll pick this one up for Neil. Look at that gobful of the old uh, sand eel there. There you go, Neil. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. Ah. <laughs> look at that. What a beautiful little ray. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Another one. Another one. Brilliant. Let's keep it going. Hopefully I won't get tangled up with Neil's line again. Though it's dangerously close by the look of it. I think what's happening is the fish are picking the, the bait up and then they're swimming up the tide. Oh, come on. No, you want to. Hopefully he ends just come off. I don't think he has. Really, we'd be expecting some bass in this weather. Not small eyed rays coming into the surf. You're over me again, I think. Is it? <coughs> Kidding me. Well, whatever it is, is in the surf there. It 
it's a ray. I can see it from here. And it looks like a decent one. Oh, it's going back out. Come this way. This way. I'm going to have to bring him in with the wave. I don't know if you can see it on the film, but you can just see his eyes there. Wait for the next wave, bring him in. Oh, look at that. Here he comes, on the wave. Come on, beauty. I'm going to have to go and get him. Well, they camouflage. Oh, That's another cracker. It's not quite as big as the first one. I reckon that's about six pound. But it is fantastic fishing in this weather. If you're prepared, if you're prepared to put up with it, you can't beat it. That's a beauty. That's a female as well. Let's uh, get him on up. We'll get her on hook. And uh, hopefully we've got it on video and we can uh, we'll show you going back in. We always catch and release these fish. They're fantastic. Right, this fish, absolute view. We weighed it six pound five. That's lovely, isn't it? Right. I'm just gonna show you going back now. We always just put them back gently, watch them swim away, let the tide take it back out. But uh, it's been cracking tonight. We're going to carry on fishing, but the weather is really coming down on us. So it'd be better for us to enjoy our fishing session in the rain. And uh, we'll try and get some video on that of other fish. But uh, it's been great fishing again. We'll catch up with you next time. Small light rays in the surf. Fantastic. Let it go back out for the, for the way. This could be number five. But I've just got to point something out. Somebody said something to me just now. This is not all me. Alright? I've got a rag in my pocket. And it's got a camera bag as well, okay? I just thought I'd say that. Just trying well, to zoom. That's well killed. <laughs> Billy no mates that one. Fantastic. What more can you ask for? Brilliant.